So when working with a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen, um, one of the things, especially when you have a larger number, um, the way that I like to go through simplifying square roots is we need to be able to find a square number that evenly divides into 216. And if we can find a square number that evenly divides into 216, then we can simplify this further. So let's go and talk about some of the square numbers um, that we have. 4 is a square number, which is 2 times 2. 9 is a square number, that's 3 times 3. 16 is a square number, which is 4 times 4, right? And then you go 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144. And I'm going to leave it at that. That's 12 times 12. 144 is 12 times 12. 11 times 11 is 121. And you can do these in your calculator to go and remember them. But I would definitely say you're going to want to make sure you know these square numbers up to 15, which 15 would be 225. So to do this, what we want to do is determine. So to simplify this, what we want to do is we want to write this as a product of one of these numbers. And we don't want to write it as a product of any number. We want to write it as a product of the smallest, I'm sorry, of the largest one of these numbers. So Mario, let's just change uh, what you're doing real quick. And so let's go and look at these. So let's go and look at these. Does 225 divide into 216? No, it's obviously larger, right? 144, that's not going to divide in. 121, that will not divide in. 100, that's not going to divide in. Um, 81, hello. Uh, sure. There's also a pile right there. If you want to look in that pile, it might have been picked up. Um, so then we look at 81. And is 81 going to uh, divide into it? And unfortunately, 81 does not divide. 64, I'll double it, which would be 128. And then I'll add it again. And I see, nope, 64 doesn't divide. And you can check this out with your calculator as well. Um, and then I try 60, 64. 49 doesn't work. but 36 does. And if you want to check this with your calculator, I can rewrite this as a product of 36 times 6. So if you want to check in your calculator, you can check. 36 times 6 equals 216. But what's nice about this is because now, since I broke this up as a product, we can now rewrite this as the square root of 36 times the square root of 6. And then the square root of 36 we know is 6 times 6, which is the square root of 36, means it's just going to be 6 square root of 6. And that's how you do that one. All right.